Well, at this time of year here in Germany, it always comes down to this. Welcome to the Berliner Olympiastadion. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're privileged to be here to bring you action from the DFB Pokal final. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach against Wolfsburg. While the Bundesliga is a top quality league, the German Cup final is a great occasion. We've got a full house here in Berlin, two very good teams, and a chance for these players to write their names in history. It should be an absolute cracker, Derek. And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And so the battle commences. Baku. Maximilian Arnold has it. Jonas Wint. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Turan... Make some progress with the ball at his feet. Can he put them in front? And thumped away. He's in here. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Alassane Playa. Well, far from the ideal pass. Yannick Gerhardt. No potential danger. Hoffman. In the perfect position to read it. Arnold. Here's Gerhardt. They couldn't maintain possession. Scanny. Julian Weigel. On to Turan. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, he looks threatening. Must score! Can they put it away? 
And problem solved for now. Jonas Vint. Good tackle. Hoffman. And this is Weigel. And the referee blows the whistle. That's going to be all for the first 45 here in Charlottenburg. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Can he find the right pass? Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. the delivery and option for power over placement but not the desired result Lars Stindl. Alassane Player. Stindl. Can he finish? And that is defending of the highest order. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they keep it going? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Well, there we have it. This has been a really poor game so far. The players need to pick up the tempo and be a lot braver with their passing and their movement. This can only get better. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, surely. Oh, there's the goal. There's the opener. How about that? Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be how far from the ideal pass you've got to say well, not giving the opposition a look in that strong play options in the middle Mecha. it was a menacing attack but tidied up We're inside the final 15 minutes. Kaminski. Mecha. Nicely timed tackle. Marcus Tuhan. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Yannick Gerhardt. Possession one. Now with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. 
He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Turan. It's got to be. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Trying to deliver it accurately. It comes to absolutely nothing. Neuhaus. That's all they can conjure for now. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.